All right. Um, we're going to call this an Arca West race because only 16 people showed up. So a bit of a failure. Thank you to the people that did show up. And I hope it'll be a fun race. It kind of screwed up the format that I was doing for this one, thinking that we'd have at least 30 people. But There's no tight changes allowed during this race. You, you just heard that? Good luck. One set of tires for the entire race. Going to be a bit of saving needed. Cautions do not count. So uh, that's going to add a bit to it. I think everyone in here is going to be nice and calm. Uh, from the one race that we had of the people that didn't transfer from qualifying, everyone looked like they were pretty cool. But it is a 100-lap race, and it's the main one now, so it might get a little wacky. Never know what's going to happen. But tire fall-off is going to be about two seconds. And uh, we got quite a bit of uh, spread in talent. But yeah, I'd like to thank everyone that showed up. Uh, we've got these 16 people here. One to go, next time by. And uh, yeah, from the heat race, I didn't want it was only a six car race because we only have 16 people and set it to 10 to transfer out of the main or out of the qualifying. So um, that was going to be a pointless one to even record. So. Now it's the big one, 100 laps. Hopefully it's fun. And we'll see who can manage the tires. Fix that up, so we'll see how it goes. Looks like everyone's kind of single file. Track is fairly wide, but you know I haven't done a whole lot of racing to know what it's going to be like for passing. But if you burn your stuff up too much, it's going to be pretty easy to get past someone, I think. Looks like we've got a good group of people, though. Everyone is being chill. All about not overdriving that corner. Oh, and we got one getting loose and into the wall. Looks like everyone gets around. And that was who the hell was that? Brad. Got a little loose, and luckily no one got into him, so we're gonna pace for a bit. Now, with the cautions not counting, that's going to allow people to get into the pits and fix damage if they need to. No tire changes. Just, uh, it was one thing that I didn't want to deal with, with tire changes having people on, like, if you're on a 60-lap old tire and someone's on a fresh tire, there was going to be a lot of issues with speed difference just because of that second and a half, two second gap. So hopefully it won't slow things down and that will be our one and very few cautions. I also believe I went single file because that's how I like restarts. But yeah, I think uh, we're going to just wait a few months before we do another one of these maybe not until January or February and uh, probably didn't help to use two pay pieces and that includes a brand new track so um, not not a big deal 
it's not like I am losing out on a ton of money running this. It's a buck fifty that it costs to put this up, so and I'll probably make that back just from the video. Unless only sixteen people watch this video. But um yeah, we'll wait till January to do another one of these. Uh the first one it was free free track, free car, on dirt. A lot of people had wanted to do something like that. This time, just, uh, I wanted to do it on Sunday because I'm usually done racing by Sunday. And it wouldn't affect things. The dirt one really affected me getting my races in on that Monday. So, that's why I moved to Sunday. But apparently there's a cup race going on on a Sunday night. Didn't know about that, so... That probably didn't help things out either, but like I said, thanks to the 16 people that showed up, or the 15 people other than me, and hopefully it's a good show for everyone to watch. You know, long ARCA race, we don't normally get those. Ooh, middle of corner start was a bit tough there. So now, tires have went through a mini heat cycle cooling down there, but I don't think they got too hot. AJ's running the middle, and I'm not I'm not sure how that's going to affect his tires. I don't know if the top side will wear things out more or not. I know he's trying to really save up his tires for later. I don't feel like I've pushed it at all yet, so. Going a little bit quicker. It's fine. I do not think the leaders are going to have much of a tire left. Alright, so AJ's just going to the back of this little group. We'll see where he ends up on speed later on in the race. Now up into the top five, and... It's just, uh... Yeah, when I did the 100 laps in practice, I had 23% left on my right front, so... It will be interesting. There's a whole new element to this that you don't normally get. And I could very well see cautions from people blowing right fronts out near the end of the race. We got a little bit of a battle going on here with the 6 and the 18. 18's trying to get his nose under there. McNabb behind. Very quick dirt racer. Said he's not very good at paved, but he is all over us right now. He's running that higher line too. Looks like AJ's dropped down now that he's got into the gap that he wants. Now by lap 70, we'll be in the 20s. The back of the pack will be in the 20s. Probably around lap 25 or 40. I don't want to put too much pressure on getting past. Is this going to eat up tires? I think second place is probably doing the best management right now. The leader, I think, is really going to fall off at the end. Almost hit the yellow stripe there. Little high there. I can hear a bit of tire squeal. That was not a good turn for my stuff. Oh, AJ's got a little connection issue there. 
bounces up in the air. And these guys are going quite slow. But it's actually, you know, putting a restrictor on me and not allowing me to burn my stuff up. Jamie's entering, or Sammy, or whatever your actual name is, he's entering pretty hard into the corners at the moment. I could see that coming back to bite him. Six car's definitely doing a lot of tire management. I think 18's just hanging out, not trying to get past him, although as I say that, he gets a nose under there. We're going to try to follow through, although he's a little timid on the bottom there. Scare him up. Try to scare him up. Alright, we'll fall in. See what he can do. AJ's all of a sudden decided to come back, and yeah, 18's, I think, struggling a bit for speed. Kind of just gave him a look on the inside. Try to scare him up. He's having trouble coming off at two. We're going to get down underneath him. Hopefully not slide up. We're good there. AJ's going to follow through. Oh, I thought they were going to make some contact back there. Alright, so six seconds to the leader. Amazingly, we haven't got lap traffic. Still only 19.9, but I didn't have that quick of a lap last time. Yeah, shit, we're already going to be in the 20.0s. Now with the rubber buildup, I don't know if that's going to change much, because that's, you know, I practice on a clean track and it only had 100 laps of rubber from myself. With everyone else being out there, uh, not sure how much that's going to change where, if it's going to help it, hurt it, add more heat. Looks like McNabb has got passed, and he is now into the fifth spot. AJ's got a bit of speed on me. Leaders dropped back a bit, but uh, Hurley is pulling away from us. Like I said, I, he was probably doing the best management right now. He's my pick to win it. We'll have lap traffic coming up soon. I'm very surprised we didn't catch lap traffic sooner. So, actually kind of a stronger field than I thought we would have. But I know I made sure everyone knew that tire management was going to be key. And I could be going too hard right now. I don't feel like I am. I don't feel like I'm overdriving. Five point four to the leader, but four point oh to second. So they're gonna be battling for the lead soon. And I don't think Ty's gonna have a whole lot for him to hold him off.
big question is how far back will I fall if I have burnt my stuff up? You know, the six car was kind of just holding a pace. Is he all of a sudden going to come flying up? And that's the type of stuff that I enjoy. These strategies, you know, how's the tire management going to work out? Don't get that enough in iRacing. on entry there. Everyone's doing a great job, though. Had about a 30-lap run so far. It was supposed to be a 21-car race for the main, so we're not too far off of what I wanted in this race. I just wanted a little bit more excitement on getting into the actual race. Slap on here. Twenty point two seven three. Five point three to the leader. Gonna run a little higher, see if that does anything. Try to get out of some of that rubber and some of that heat. Although I can't really force myself up there. And heavy lap traffic for the leaders. Big old wad of cars there. Really happy though that everyone's keeping it together. That's uh, was worried that it'd be a bit loose. Tried to set the car up as neutral as possible. I did not like iRacing's default ARCA car setup for here. At least these guys are having a hell of a battle. I'm all by myself and they're just like four or five cars that have been stuck together ever since their uh, heat race. Now the 71 car, he was probably doing his best out of the six people that were in the heat race in tire management. Now I don't think the top two were pushing too hard, but he uh, looked to be the quickest out of everyone once we got near the end. AJ's now back 2.2. Looks like uh, Talkington is now up into 5th and McNabb back to 6th. These guys are running fairly decent laps. It's not like I'm running them over. Slowly getting to them. And maybe they've watched me complain enough about lap cars in the Arca series. And they have. Thank you for the room. And we're nearing halfway. AJ could still be saving his tires. I'm... I don't feel like I am. 
but I also don't feel like I'm abusing them, so we'll find out. There's no coming back from where I am at the moment. So down into the 20.4s already. Car and track really slowing down and we might end up in the 21s. So two more lap cars we have gained on the O2. O2's kind of held steady to the leader. Halfway, ticking off laps pretty quick, 21 minutes into this, one caution. Only reason I put cautions not counting is normally in these races you get about like 20, 30 laps that eat up the beginning of the race. And I wanted it to be a bit of a challenge with these tires. Car is getting a bit tight. Moving up there just felt like the front end washed out. <laughs> Greg's got thanks Nick on the side of his car, so thank you to him, if that's for me. Glad people are enjoying the videos, enjoying these races. It's made me more motivated to run and to get a little better. Like, before I got the channel going, I was hardly racing just because I've been doing it for years. But the channel has uh, brought back a little bit of that fun. Lots of cloud cover now. 4.6 to the leader, 2.5 to second. So we are definitely catching both of them. But is that going to just drop off? Am I going to hit a wall? Are they going to hit a wall of speed? Uh -oh. Damon gets a little loose off the corner. AJ's back there, 4.8. And it looks like uh, McNabb is a lap down now, so not sure if he just hit the limit on his tires or had a little issue. I was worried about how hard he was entering the corner, so that might have bit him. And we've got second place, the next car ahead of us. I 
I'm fine with this though because uh, Sammy has destroyed me on speed and dirt. So it's nice to uh, see him about to go down a lap to me. And we are into heavy lap traffic again. This is a different group, it looks like. It's a bit of the same group and a few new people, I think. Got last place here, the 53, all 16 still running. McNabb, you'll kick my ass the next time you see me on dirt. Very surprised that the O2 has not caught the leader. And now I've got this in the back of my head going, okay, I might win this. Or maybe my viewers are just letting me win because they've seen me lose enough. They feel bad for me. So into the 20.5s, O2's getting a little loose off the corner, which is very surprising. Not sure if that was just something weird looking or if he was actually getting loose, but I have not I have not felt anything like that yet. You can see a lot of that rubber right on entry, and I think a lot of people are overdriving the entry and burning up the right front. within two seconds of the lead and we got that 18 car we had to pass him to get up into the top five and he appears to be falling off pretty hard haven't seen the six car yet he might be and he's not in view at the moment right now so 18 gets out of the way of the two. Oh, they almost come together there that was scary 63 with his damage in 10th place, so he's hanging on. Oh, come on, man. If you've watched my videos, you know how much that angers me. We got the leader in sight, and we've still got 28 laps. Sixty-three pushes up. I think everyone's so tight that we're uh, not gonna get anyone spinning. The eleven and the two are falling off. I still think the two O2 has got something in his back pocket. feel like he's just sitting there running a speed knowing he's going to have more at the end. Oh, that's a big slide. That's not what you want to do. Not when you got to take these to the end. Another slide out of the O2, so maybe he's not. Maybe he's not 
holding back. He might just have started to heat up and wear like the right sides a bit too much. I don't know. I'm having a blast. Five, three, one. Not just because right now I'm maybe the fastest guy on track. It's just, oh boy. There was nowhere to go there. Back out of it. Stay alive. Don't want to run on the top too much. We had the lap car there. There was no way we are getting around him. O2 is definitely pushing hard, though. I think he dialed the brakes back. I didn't touch anything. I don't remember if I dialed the brakes back before I saved it, but struggling at the moment and I'm feeling really comfortable. Like, might push a little harder because we're inside 20 to go. There's the 53 once again. He's just getting out of everyone's way. Being a clean racer, having fun, and getting to the end. 11 car's a little loose off the corner. He's trying to get around this lap car. Lap car's not giving him a whole lot of room, it looks like. But that lap car is also trying to stay on the lead lap. He has not went a lap down yet. I don't know how the O2 is holding on to it. Oh, he's not holding on to it much longer. He tried to get on it too early there. All right, now I just had my first noticeable slide there entering too hard, too low. Down to 1.3 with 19 to go. Got one car going to the pits. That is McNabb. He might have a right front blown. Or he might just be calling it quits. Leader is definitely having trouble getting around this lap car and pushing it even harder and harder to do so. Six car is up ahead. Finally see him. Thought he was going to have a little more pace here at the end. The 11, though, is... Uh, Struggling to get there. A little too much yellow line. I'm guessing he's getting a bit frustrated with the 69. He's got the nose there now. 69 should just give him the spot. If you're trying to help me out, I don't need it. I feel like we are sitting pretty at the moment. I'll go ahead and go in a little higher. Cut down off the corner. Try to get see how that works off there. We got a battle for the lead. 13 to go. Lap car is affecting this one. He's giving him the bottom, but it's really hard for the 11 to get up off the corner. Keep the pressure on him. I think 53 is back up on the high side. He might be having tire issues. Drag the brakes a bit there. I didn't want to dive it in. Everyone getting single file around. Eleven to go this time. 
There's our first, there's our first big rear wheel spin. It's going to be a battle. I am surprised how hard the O2 fell off, but he looked like he was sliding all over the place there. Go up here, that way we don't have to worry about hitting his bumper. And if he gets loose off the corner, we'll get a run. Dive it in. This is some tough racing right here. We are all on old ass tires. Lap traffic hurt him, him not being able to get the bottom to work on them. I mean, we're all kind of the same speed right now too. Ooh, all right, nose just slid hard there. It was... It was aching. It did not like what I did for the last five laps trying to get past him. These guys, though, if we had a 200 lap race, I think they'd uh, slowly start to pull away. They've kept the tires on it. Jamie's back out. Or Sammy, or... We'll just call him McNabb. Oh, yeah. I don't think he's got a right front. No tire changes. Oh, the 11 car gets loose trying to keep it off there. We're still in heavy lap traffic. They're battling for fifth. Fourth, fifth, and sixth ahead of me. I'm not going to get involved in that. I'm going to try to let them race as long as the 11 doesn't start to catch. AJ must be on the other side of the world from me. Have not seen him. <laughs> These guys. I mean, the leaders can't pass them. And that's the crazy thing. Like, I could try really hard and maybe pass them, but I've got nothing for him at the moment. Get to the white flag and it will for sure end and we're gonna have like a what was a 96 lap run which is freaking amazing i mean that was an awesome race that was not just because i won but because we had some clean racing and tire management i think a couple of people blew their tires <laughs> and we win it I guess when only 16 people show up, that makes it a little easier on me. Oh, man. I can't believe we caught him. I can't believe we came back to that. I want to see what the tires are. I need to cut them, too. What? Only 63.73. Oh, wow. I, I saved him. Wow. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, there is the final results. I'm going to talk to everyone after this. Thanks again to everyone that showed up. That was, uh, that was an awesome, awesome race. Really fun. Uh, good job to Ty. He, 
he led the most laps, but just uh, couldn't get past the lap traffic. So, hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.